and then somehow took control of the launch. But just in, a UFO flew over a Russian launch silo, entered the nuclear codes, and aimed at the U.S. Pull it up on the Jumbotron, Steve. Had this program, very, very uh, intense program, sophisticated, where they were studying UFOs for years. Uh, he said there was uh, other evidence about the secret Russian program uh, that he received from former uh, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. They were very, very close for years and giving each other information. He says UFOs appeared over a Russian missile base. This was also interesting. Again, now in the congressional record, UFOs appeared over... This the is from Harry Reid. ...maneuvers and witnesses and then somehow took control of the launch system. The missiles aimed at the U.S. were suddenly fired up. Launch control codes were somehow entered and the base was unable to stop what could have been initiated yeah. World War III, then just as suddenly the UFOs disappeared and the launch control system shut down. I mean, if you're not concerned about national security with this issue, I mean, that, that pretty much sums it up right there. Um, you know, if, yeah. if that's all true, and again, you talk about George Mapp's uh, credibility. This man's a congressman, but he looks like he should be selling propane, propane accessories. But he's a congressman, I think. In, in the United States of America, you can research it. I can't recall the the name of it right Propane. now. Pretty, been that boy ain't right. That the UFOs were sighted over a nuclear installation mm -hmm. and it was completely shut down. This just in, a UFO flew over a Russian launch silo, entered the nuclear codes and aimed at the U.S.